Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Hi guys, in my last video, I talked about this book, Box Camera Now. If you have not watched the video, please click on the link in the top right hand corner. So today, in this video, I thought I will continue with the same theme about the box camera and uh, how do I build one. I actually do not intend to build this uh, box camera as I already have two. But uh, some time ago, I saw somebody uh, dump away a good condition IKEA wooden shelf or, or wooden side table uh, near my apartment block. So I picked it up and I thought it would be in a perfect shape to make a box camera. Come along with me as I take you through uh, this project on how I build it. Uh, this will be the part one of the build series. So I probably need another video to show you the complete build and also the test shoot. Okay, so this is the IKEA side table. When I first saw it, uh, immediately I thought of making a box camera out of it uh, because it's in the perfect shape. There's a few things that I will change. First of all, you can see that this, uh, this top part, okay, this is a gap uh, from the top plank to the uh, top edge of the two sides. So I intend to level this up, bring because these are just tightened using um, the typical IKEA screw so I will loosen it and then bring it up to the lever for below there's uh, some leg space as we can see here right. this part I will leave it okay. so there's some leg space I can put this on the table um, if I'm doing any shooting so Rather than having the whole base sit on the table, I I will use just I will use the leg support that's already provided by the side plank. Okay. I also cut um, two plywood for the two sides that we'll cover up here, and then drill some so and uh, we should we will turn this into a box camera quite easily. Okay, I will just use my PVC tape uh, tube to roughly draw a circle in the center. I mean, you can be very precise, use a pair of compasses. Okay, but I'm just going to estimate it. So somewhere here, that will be our back focusing uh, hole. Uh, we don't need to be very big, we just to be able to see through and then look at the ground glass inside the box camera. Okay. So this is the piece of plywood that I've um, bought for the site. Okay. So we also need a hole somewhere here for our sleeve hole. Okay. So again, this uh, PVC tape is quite the diameter is quite alright. So I use this to draw the hole again. Estimation, uh, maybe somewhere in the center might be alright. Okay, I'll draw it here. Okay. So my hand can go in and put the paper on the side. Right. Because my design is always loading the paper from the front. There are some design that we load the paper from the back of the ground glass uh, holder. Okay, so I think somewhere here would be good. So the last hole that we need to mark up is for the uh, lens itself. Usually I use a Linhoff uh, lens board. So if for such a case, you need to cut the rectangular slot. But in this case, I think I'm going to use a customized uh, lens board, a, a circular lens board. So I will use... Uh, so I'm using my compasses to draw the circle. Okay something like this and then we can prepare for the cutting of all the holes after all the sawing and cutting so I have assemble the pieces to this stage so for this 
square wave piece this is the um, internal focus mechanism so this is like the mounting board nah? so this is actually make up of uh, mainly two layer of plywood uh, 5 mm per layer and there is a circle cut off the center uh, you saw in the video that it wasn't too easy to cut a circus in the wood um, the reason I use two layers is also because a single layer is easier for me to cut rather than buy a thick plywood of uh, uh, 10 mm it's harder for me to cut the circle right so on the top and the bottom another uh, narrow strip of plywood just to uh, stop the this circular paper holder from falling off the other side so that will just support it here okay. so the circular piece is actually cut from here and then again I uh, cut a rectangular piece in uh, both pieces one with a smaller rectangle right, so that we have a, a rib here so this is a 3mm uh, acrylic piece with one side frosted so you can actually get this um, from the shop that sell the acrylic as asked for one side frosted uh, unfortunately they only have it in 3 mm thickness I prefer something like 2 mm but for frosted they only have it in 3 mm so this will sit nicely into the rectangular slot and again the smaller um, rectangular on the other end will actually stop it from falling off I find a way to fix this to this first to glue or some um, tiny wire or screws right so this circular board will sit in the mounting board and the idea is to allow it to change from landscape orientation to portrait right, this way okay because later i have some um, small pieces of wood placed here but to stop the board from falling forward okay um, you can see there's a big gap here because of the cutting uh. the cut was it take up it cut off more wood than I thought it would so there's a big gap here so but it doesn't matter for the purpose of using it inside the box camera okay lastly I have a rectangular frame again cut from this slot here and then I cut another internal slot here so that it will act as a gate to hold down the paper so the photo paper will be placed here and then this gate will hopefully hold it down tight right, the, I cut a slot for a hinge so that the hinge will be placed here and then maybe another stopper here or uh, 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 a lock here to lock the frame in place for exposure <coughs> end of the day when it's all working it should stand up straight so this is the internal focusing mechanism um, since then I already drilled two holes and, and I also cut two short sections of the stainless steel pipe that I the idea of the stainless steel pipe here is so that the focus so that it can move along smoothly along the focusing wheel right. if we just have a hole here and then uh, let it slide through the focusing wheel it may not be so smooth so this um, cylinder steel pipe will help in that so there's another hole here this will actually be attached to the focusing rod um, that rod will actually move the this this whole mechanism along the box camera so this is the side with the sleeve hole sleeve hole has been all sawn out so I actually have uh, put in two hinges so that we can open or close this door right, and uh, lock it with uh, a lock. I need to put another lock here um, I tried to use a magnet but it didn't work as well as I thought it would be so I will uh, 
use another latch or a lock here Thank you for watching to the end of this video As you can see the build isn't too complicated but I still have a few things uh, to complete I will include the sleeves, the back door, the lens mount and all the uh, light proofing that we need to do for this camera and when all these are done, uh, we'll need to do a test shoot to make sure that the camera works the way it should. So please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification icon, the bell icon, so that when I upload the second part of this uh, IKEA Box camera build series, you will be informed of it. Again, thank you for watching and i see you in my next video. Bye! Hi guys, we have come to the end of this video. Please like it, share it and finally do subscribe to my channel and i see you in my next video. Take care! Bye!